What's up channel, I'm back. I am getting back on this project here. So, I don't know where I left off last time. Don't mind my garage. <laughs> it is, I'm getting a building built next door, so all this is gonna go. Anyways, don't judge me. It is what it is. I'm in the middle of rebuilding a house and putting uh, a Lamborghini Diablo back together. Anyways, so, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, never thought in a million years that would even be a, a sentence I could say. So I don't know where we left off last time, but I ended up having to get um, a new driver's side wheel hub assembly, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, this one looks like it has actually been super monkeyed with. So I don't know if you remember, the ball joint was busted through. So I got a new ball joint. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new lower ball joint in it as well. Getting ready to knock that out with my uh, good old Harbor Freight tools everywhere. By the way, you can work on a Lamborghini with uh, Harbor Freight tools, so don't judge me. This is also Harbor Freight, works very, very well. Um, shout out to Harbor Freight, appreciate you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this car back together. I'm, I've got these on order. Um, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and put this lower in. I'm trying to find a lower A-arm for this car. As you can see, there's some monkey welds on it here. I'm actually going to take this lower control arm off and grind those out uh, to fix the welds and stuff. I'm actually a pretty good welder, so um, I'm going to fix that that stuff. I've tried finding a new one. Uh, the only one I could find would be coming from Italy, and it's two thousand dollars for this lower A arm. So, yeah, guys, you have no idea how much this this stuff is costing. It's crazy. I still have to have the uh, the shocks rebuilt. I'm going to send those off. Um, and get those rebuilt there. Uh, they're like 800 bucks a piece to have rebuilt. So it's not terrible, but it is what it is. Uh, like I said upper and lower um, ball joints is happening, by the way. Upper upper ball joint, um, I found out of Dubai, uh, 300 bucks. Lower ball joint, special order from Lamborghini, uh, $1,400 just for the ball joint. So. Ugh, right? Do I change? It's actually in pretty good shape. Do I change it or do I leave it now and then use the ball joint for the new A-arm when I find one? I will find one. Gonna find one. It's when, right? So we'll go with that. Um, I did order the bushings here, so we're gonna put all new um, bushings in there. These aren't in terrible shape. They're just a little dry rotted. And what all this grease and all this mess is from is from the shock. The shocks are leaking um pretty you can see a little bit of drip there they are leaking so that's what happens with these supercars when they sit for a long time they get gross and then somebody drives them and they make a big old mess so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i did go ahead and convert the car to two-wheel drive i've still got to pull this uh front diff out here everything else is gone out of it center drive shaft i did all that the reason i did a two-wheel drive conversion on this car is because i'm actually planning on driving it right so i'm gonna drive this car I bought it right. I don't care. I'm going to drive it. It's it's a dream car. You know, it's, it is it is what it is. So I'm going to drive it. And the reason I went with two-wheel drive is it saves on the clutch um, and the front tires. It absolutely, this car, is it binds really, really hard when you turn. This is an all-wheel drive car. So um, I'm, I've kept all the original parts. So if anybody ever wants to convert it back to four-wheel drive, you absolutely can. I've saved every nut and bolt, everything to it. It is actually really, really easy to convert to a two-wheel drive. All I had to order was the little studs that go in here and holds everything together. It's like $1,300 for the two-wheel drive conversion. Um, so yeah, we're doing two-wheel drive. It is what it is. Um, this wire harness. So the car is missing the inner fender well, okay? I have to find an inner fender well or have some made. The problem is the, the wire harness here was rubbing on a tire. Cause this thing, I mean, it, the tire sits in here and it, it's supposed to have an inner fender well and all is supposed to be tucked up in there. But it was rubbing and it literally rubbed through every one of these wires. So I have put them almost all the way back together. The reason I have these wires like this is I'm troubleshooting why the windows aren't going up and down. So, I, I have to figure out the wires on the windows. These are the wires to the windows. I have mocked that down. Um, I do not have power to the switches, so I'm gonna figure this out, go back. I do not have blown fuses and I don't have a bad relay. So it's kind of freaking me out. I wish I would have had a blown fuse, it would have been an easy fix. 
But at this point, you know, we'll keep messing with it. If I can't, then I'll have to find a new wire harness for this driver door. And it does go through and then into the door here. Um, so I haven't got down to chasing wires yet. I've just started putting this back together and I have done it dead on. I'm actually really good with wiring um, as far as like making sure everything lines up the same colors. I am no master by any, any means, but this is where I'm down to. So all the other wires match from color to color. They're perfect. These I have doubles of. So, uh, you know, I'm getting ready to mess with that. Don't judge me, okay? That's probably like a $2,000 wire harness. We'll get around to finding one. Um, what else? Uh, I got the brake light to work. Um, I'm guessing whoever worked on this car before, the they plugged the harness in the wrong area. So I went back and fixed all the wiring in the rear. So that's done. $1,400 ball joint. It's crazy. Anyways, I think I'm just going to save that for the new hub. All right, so we've got this. Anyways, let's go back to this real quick. Sorry, I ramble on here. You can see where that ball joint dropped out and it shattered that bushing. Well, you can't get the bushing, right? And you can see where it chewed this hub all to piss from this little part right here. It was just absolutely digging in it, chewing it up. So I bought the new one. Guess how much that hub was. It was just ridiculous. But anyways, I got it. Also, I noticed with this hub, it looks like somebody has went in there and machined it. So you see the little machine grooves there? It's like it's from a lathe or a drill press with a carbide bit on it. It's also been welded on. So you can see like how ragged these edges are on this thing. Just super, super ragged. Very pot, like pot metal, you know, welds or whatever. Anyways, it's been welded and grinded on. Now you see how clean this one is. So I bit the bullet, bought the only one in the whole entire country, luckily found one. And we're gonna go put that new one in it. I needed the bushing anyways, who knows what that cost. So I just came with one. Um, as far as the rotors, we're gonna do aftermarket on the rotors. So I have one good OEM one, which I'll save. Um, I'm going to rebuild the caliper. Generate plug out of the way. So this one was shattered. I, this thing got crazy hot. Like I said, it, it melted the, the hub out. So we've got that done now. Uh, we're going to replace this, this rotor here. So instead of going back with OEM, uh, hubs, which are 2,600 bucks a piece. I, I found some on eBay um, for $1,700 a pair for aftermarket. So we're going to do that. Uh, anyways, those are ready to go. So we're going to put those on. I've got to order these hubs, or sorry, these uh, pistons here. I have to take this caliper apart to, to measure the, the diameter of those. So we'll go ahead and get those ordered. They're like 300 bucks. It's not too bad. Uh, and go ahead and rebuild this. And the reason I want to rebuild this because I know this caliper got unbelievably hot. It's a different color than all of the other ones, for sure. That was torched. The center hub on the wheel was burnt. Just a lot was wrong, right? So we're going to go ahead and fix that. Um, I can't wait till my new shop gets built because this is driving me nuts. Tools everywhere. Um, what else we got? That's that. That's that. Do, do, do. Got new stickies for the thing, you know what I mean? Got some new tires. New tires, look how wide those rears are. That's ridiculous. Dude, massive. So we got some new stickies for it. We'll get those done. Oh, all right, so I'm on the fence about this. Let me know what you guys think. I have to put a new brake booster on this car. I do not want to put a new brake booster on this car, but this brake booster is $4,000 if we have to put a brake booster on this car. I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. I have to do it. So this brake booster here is $4,000 and it takes about a week to get here from Italy. <sighs> you know, I'm at this point with this car. It's like I said, it's not a perfect car. It's been repainted. It's not going to hurt it if I put an aftermarket brake booster on it. Like something from Will Wood or, you know, Brembo or anybody that makes them, right? I'm going to try to have this one rebuilt. If I can't find somebody to rebuild it, then we're going to go aftermarket and put a, a racing style uh, brake booster and everything back in it. 
you know, it is what it is. So $4,000 OEM or, oh man, or, or just do like a $600 aftermarket racing one. It, it really doesn't matter at this point. So yeah, I got everything done. Fixed the wire harness and all that mess that was up in there. Uh, I'm gonna do an oil change on it. So I got that brake light to work. That's nice. Um, on the rears, I have to do the parking brake. <clears throat> I don't know if the cable stretched or what it is, but the, they just don't work. Um, they seem to have enough bite on them left. So I'll probably just try to adjust the cables on it and we'll go from there. The rear end is fine for now. I'm not gonna touch anything back here, but this winter I am gonna have all the shocks rebuilt on it. As you can see, they're just starting to dry rot and fall apart. You can see the pieces just falling in. Um, so I'm assuming these probably will leak pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and get those rebuilt this winter. Um, once I get my, I just bought a four post car lift today. So um, no more Harbor Freight jack stands, boys. Just kidding. I love Harbor Freight, shout out. Um, anyways, that's the update with that, guys. You know, CV axles right there. I'm gonna keep those there. Not putting them back on the car. This side, ball joints are good in. You can see the shocks leaking over here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just get those rebuilt in the next couple weeks. Um, this side is pretty good. I gotta figure this out, you know what I mean? We got two horns, a bunch of wiring. We've got a trailer wiring harness here, right? I have no idea what's going on. We're gonna fix it, I promise you. My OCD will not let all this happen. Um, yeah, so check this out. So this goes down into some horns. And then on the inside, <laughs> It's crazy somebody did a Lamborghini like this. Um, on the inside here, it's got a... Gosh, I get it open. It's got it on and off switch. Boom! With Sharpie on and off, right? Oh my God. We'll figure out what happened there. So brake booster, that's next. Anyway, still an absolutely beautiful car. It runs great. Interior is perfect. Body is actually amazing. Like I said, it's been repainted. You can see some paint lines here. I used to own a paint body shop, so wrap it or might repaint it in a couple winters. The problem with repainting this car is you have to get all the window seals. You do it properly, you gotta take the car apart. I'm all for doing it properly, don't get me wrong. But I gotta find the seals first, right? And then we gotta see what those cost. Um, I'm not rich by any means, but I do, I do own a uh, Lamborghini Diablo and they are unbelievably expensive to repair. Um, oh, just for instance, right? So converting it to two-wheel drive will save the clutch on it a lot longer. And to do a clutch on it, it's like 10 grand. Um, and when you do that, you might as well go ahead and do a valve lash on it. So everything costs about 40,000 uh, to do a clutch and a valve lash job on it and then little miscellaneous things it might need. I'm not trying to eat that this year. If I can get a couple years out of it before I get to that, I'll be good. Anyways, hey guys, I, you know, I appreciate you guys always watching my channel and, and uh, ragging me from my Harbor Freight tools, you know what I'm saying? Harbor Freight, number one. But you know what? I do have a Lambo, so it's okay. You know, you got to cheap out on some things so you can own some other things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, listen, hang in there. We'll uh, get this car back together. I might go get it aligned tomorrow. Um, that way at least it's functional if I can move it in and out, you know, get everything clean because I know I got to get all this clean. And I got to fix the wire harness or find a new one. So anyways, hey, holler back at me. Come back and uh, we'll make some cool, uh, cool videos of it. Thanks.